Spacelift contexts are independent collections of environment variables and mounted files that can be attached and detached from one or multiple stacks as needed. You can attach one or more contexts to any stack and control its priority to add files and define variables to be consumed by your configuration. Let's take a look. Here we have two contexts. Each one is used by one stack. And if we take a look in these contexts, you can see we have a collection of variables and some files. Now if we click on Edit, you can see that some values are obfuscated. If you click on Edit, you cannot edit it at all. You can only add a new one. This is for security. Now certain ones are completely editable, so those can be changed as you wish. And this, of course, is configurable whenever you create the context. Now we also have files here, and they have the same functionality. You can either choose to make it non-editable, or you can choose to have it able to be edited, just like this user data file here. Now all of these are, of course, consumable by the stack, and each context can be given priority as well. As you can see, tfvar node name can be here, and also in this demo context, we can have a different value here. And once we're in the stack itself, you can set that priority. So if I click on environment here, you can see that dev node actually takes priority. And that can be modified right from here. Just like so, as you can see, demo context priority one, dev context priority zero. So dev context takes precedence. You can also override each value right here from the environment tab of your stack and add new variables as well. So as you can see, contexts are incredibly powerful and very easy to create and manipulate and a key part of your deployment strategy within Spacelift.